Hello, Internet! Colorful Artie is back for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Game Boy Advance. In the last episode, we made it through the first two levels of the Vine Valley, and in this episode, we're hopefully gonna finish it up. So on to level 3, Forest Frenzy, and these Kremlings are annoying. They walk for a few steps and then they jump, so that's very easy for, to, for them to catch you off guard if you're not careful. Woohoo! Because your first instinct is probably to jump on them, and if you do that, they're gonna just jump right into you. So you need to be on the lookout for that. Ouch. Blue Zeners! <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought that was a bonus room. Heh <laughs> Take that, you stupid Zener. So this stage is mostly just swinging across large pits on vines, avoiding bees or other enemies that are moving. There's also a picture at the bottom of one of these vines, so you do need to be on the lookout for that. In fact, it might be down here, maybe? Nope, not down there. And this is the last level that gets to have this music, which is kind of sad. I love it. And by that, I mean I love the music. Okay, we haven't even found one bonus barrel yet. Oh, that's right, they're both at the very end. Forgot about that little fact. One of the bonus barrels is also at the bottom of one of these vines. Do, 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 do. Oh wow, this is great game commentary. Let me tell you what. Oh, okay, bonus barrel is down here. Did I already? No, I did not miss it. Good. Whew. That's a lot easier to spot in this version than it was in the Super Advanced version. And great. This means I'm going to get teleported to the bonus room. Actually. No, it, it does not. Diddy's like, are you kidding me right now? Really? There's the picture. Gotta roll. We gotta do clever roll jump. All right, this is gonna be tough. We have to carry this to the very end without hitting any of the Kremlings. Well, <laughs> well yeah, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back into that bonus barrel, and we're gonna get the Rambi token. The Randy bonus is interesting. It's not quite as good as the Espresso bonus, but, you know, it's still pretty darn good. I mean, you're Rambi, so that should tell you something. And now, if you want to get the big token, just stick and take the high road. And that's gonna net us the picture. Oh my gosh, we have 800 tokens! That's actually more than what we got in the Espresso bonus. Eight one-ups. We already have 70 lives now. This game, it does not skimp on the lives, which is very nice. Personally, I like platformer games that give you unlimited lives, like Rayman Legends and Rayman Origins. But this game is also so generous with the lives that it really doesn't even matter all that much. Donkey Kong has a tail. Okay, can you imagine if you saw a bee that big in real life, like the size of a gorilla? Oh my gosh, I would like freak out so bad. Terrifying. I don't like bees to begin with, but bees that big, no thank you. And we get to take the long ride to the end again. 
Maybe we won't make it through Vine Valley in one video. Especially the Vine Valley levels actually are pretty lengthy. So I guess we'll just have to see. Whoa. Those fiends are a lot faster in the Super NES version. Alright, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill all these Kremlings before getting the barrel. So basically, the, that has a bonus room in it. We can jump over there. We we can take the barrel over here. I like how you can just walk up to the wall while carrying the barrel, and uh, it'll break it open for you. Oh no. We gotta avoid on guard tokens now. Alright, that's forced frenzy. We did get the G on that level, right? Okay, good, we did. And let's check out the photo we got. Mini Neki. Alright, time for focus fishing. Hey dudes, tell Candy she can ride my wave anytime. Yeah, <laughs> that's not at all subtle. Chump chops, dude, these waters are full of sharks. Help me clean them out and I'll give you some more excellent things. Try to hook ten within the time limit. One thing no, don't hook anything but sharks. Record catch is zero chops juniors. Alright, really? The fish are just like, eh, swim right in front of the sharks. I don't care about combos, I just want to catch 10 shots students. I'm glad the Funky's fishing missions are pretty darn easy. They are the Funky missions are a lot harder in the uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 Game Boy Advance. Like, I still haven't beaten them all. Whoa, whoa! Okay, yeah, that was easy. Actually, you know what? Well, like, I guess I, sh I guess I should keep my time around for as long as possible, just in case a crab walks on the bottom of the screen. Thanks, Diddy. Yes, you go, how to fish. Yes, you really, really do. Yes, you really own the fishing. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Well done, dude. Here, take this reward. Thanks, Funky. And now this is the part of the game where we're actually doing le levels in a slightly different order than you did in the Super NES version. If you were playing the Super NES version, the next level would be Temple Tempest. Here, it's a Rainatane game. Home of five bonus barrels. No joke. Whoop. We're gonna grab this for a ride. Or I guess no we're not, because it's scrolled off screen. <laughs> the amazing teleporting Donkey Kong. Yeah, this level has, I kid you not, five bonus barrels. It's insane. Good luck finding one of them, by the way. I like the spider that just crawls across the screen. <laughs> Bravo, Diddy. Bravo. Also, we, we don't get the nice transitions from day to night on these jungle levels in this version, which is kind of sad. You're invincible while you're on the steel keg. Just make sure you don't uh, ride it off a cliff. <laughs> Look at how far Diddy car- Okay, don't fall off the cliff. Diddy! Stop doing that! <laughs> you cannot roll into clap traps, they will kill you. Nice going. Let's see if Donkey Kong can actually do this correctly. There we go, that wasn't so hard, now was it? Okay, yeah. 
One of the bonus barrels, you have to f take Espresso all the way back to, like, the beginning of the level. And you have to avoid these guys, because they do hurt. Alright, yeah, right here. You gotta jump and fly. I have no idea how they expect you to find this. And there's a picture for you. How would they expect you to find that? We get to spell it out. Oh boy. Winky. If you hit the crocodile heads, they go like, Wah. And we get a Winky token. Oh, I thought we got to spell out more than just that. Oh well. And wow, that warped us far in the level. No! I did not want that! Oh man. I don't like the on guard bonus. Not one bit. Also, why is the water red here? Please enlighten me. I like how collecting the giant tokens freezes time briefly. Alright, we did pretty well for the on guard bonus, but we didn't get the checkpoint barrel. Man, the game does not want me to finish Vine Valley in this video. Oh, that's interesting how I have Espresso at the very beginning of the level. Yeah, sorry, Diddy. Also, the nice thing about Espresso, clap traps don't hurt her. Or him. I'm not sure Espresso's gender. Woohoo! Ooh, the crate's already broken. That's a nice touch. All right, there's the checkpoint barrel. And this is why the level's named Orangutan Gain. There are these Orangutans called Mankey Cons. I kid you not, that is their name. Who throws stuff at you. If we hit one with a steel keg, we actually get a picture for that. Wait, what the? Expresso, don't do that. Those guys can be annoying. You also cannot jump on their barrels like you could in the uh, sequels. Oh. Go down here, get the N. And you can fly over here. Get the barrel. You are kidding me right now. That didn't open the bonus way? Aw, oh, come on. At least we've got the checkpoint. And thankfully, Espresso is right behind the checkpoint. I love the music, though. This music is great. Okay, let's try this again. That's better. I want to enter at, with Express- What the heck was that? <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to enter at with Expresso on, so that way I still had Expresso when I got out. Well, that works. Oh wait, no, that's not, that's bad. We don't want that. Well, if memory serves, yeah. See how many bonus barrels are on this level? And we're good. We spelled calm. bonus barrels there are! It is insane! And we still haven't found them all! There's one left! What we're gonna do is take Mr. Barrel... ...over here! <laughs> 
Hi there, Espresso. Hi ho, Espresso, away. Oh, come on, I touched that. Is there anything above the exit on this level? Nope. Darn it. And that's a rain attain game. Let me just make sure I actually did get all of the bonus barrels. Yes, I did. Five out of five. Hey, we've completed an entire page. Man, Funky, your pictures are terrible. Oh, Clam City, the second underwater level. Filled with clambos. Make sure you swim over here to get both the K and Ungard. Ungard is on every single underwater level, which is nice. Since he is your only method of attack. Make sure you don't miss the O. Because that would be O oh, so bad. Just like that pun. Alright. If you swim over that clambo, you can get a picture of him. Wow, we already have 22 pictures. Not bad. What the? Really? What can you say? Junior loves the chops. Whoa! On guard! I thought he scrolled off the screen. This hole is kind of annoying just because of all the pearls you have to jo drop. Bleh! Dodge! What was I trying to say there? Also, this level is normally the last level in Vine Valley, but they switched it up in the Game Boy Advance version because I don't know why. Probably because they realized this level was easier than Temple Tempest. Whoa! I forgot he shot that many pearls. Oh no, I only have 79 lives left. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So guys, if, if the game over screen kind of creeped you out when you were a kid, just know I'm not going to have a game over in this. And also, they massively toned down the uh, game over screen in uh, the Game Boy Advance version. It's still weird and kind of disturbing, but not nearly as bad as the Super NES version. Uh, these croctopuses make me nervous! Or croctopi. Oh boy, we gotta brave the oysters, pearls, and booyah. That wasn't too bad. It was a good deal harder than coral capers, but other than that, not too bad. And hey, it's time for Cranky and Candy, everyone's favorites. DK again, whippersnapper? Long time no see. Four shades of gray in an 8x8 block. That is all that we had. A single banana is all you need for a treetop town bonus. Grab them extra life balloons quick, or they'll float away. I could just rock all day if you'd leave me alone. My cranky voice is not as good as I want it to be. Alright, Candy's dance. Have you come to get in the groove? Heh, uh, yes. You keep coming back for more. Not voluntarily, though. Let's see if you can keep up with me this time. Bring it, Candy. Now we have to press the A button. And the B button. Catchy music here, though. Until now. What is that sound? Did I get the second picture that time? I did pretty darn well. Cool, you sure know how to hit the moves. Here you go, take this. Aw, oh, it's candy, you're killing me here. 
Actually, not really. She gave me free lives, but whatever. Normally, I'd say I'd end the video off here, but I don't want to end a video on a candy stage. That would just be bad. So this is Temple Tempest. Oh, almost missed the K there. That would have been bad. So the millstones are back, but this time they chase you. Got to be fast on this level. And I already missed one of the bonus rooms. We're gonna let Diddy get a, a chance to shine. What we have to do is carry this barrel over here, and there's a bonus room there. Ooh! This is a little, uh, showcase. If you jump on a ton of enemies in a row, you actually get a 1-up balloon. And now we get actually Espresso for this level. Kind of a weird choice, if you ask me. I would prefer Rambi. Then again, I would prefer Rambi in any stage except for an underwater stage! No! Goodbye, Espresso. Sorry to pull a Mario on Yoshi there. Really? Stupid vine. Really, Donkey Kong? You didn't jump! Whoa ho ho! Alright, I guess we're not taking Expresso for this level, which is kind of a good thing, because Expresso is not well suited for this stage. I mean, look how fast we're going through it without Expresso. Mainly because the uh, Naughties can give us a nice boost when we roll into them. Those crummies are- Oh! If you'll notice, there's a camera there. Heh <laughs> And we scroll back off the screen. And those arrows are pointing down to a bonus barrel. And we get- oh, okay. Let's not stink this time. The clap traps have much far fewer invincibility frames than the GBA version. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We do want to land on that, because that has the end. The Wrath of Khan. Yeah, that G is in a really jerkish place. Like, you literally just have to be like, I do- I want to fall off a cliff right at the exit for no reason, and it'll give you the G. That's not very nice. Oh, yeah, that would felt good. I love being able to do that. It's so satisfying. Oh, come on, Diddy! I did not say put go left! This is gonna be a long episode because Diddy's being stupid. And because these levels are taking a lot longer than I, uh, anticipated. What with going to animal bonuses... And, uh... Oh, come on, stupid Kremlin. Uh, unexpected deaths... Having to go back for five bonus barrels... <laughs> Vine Valley's a lot busier than I remember. But I kind of want to finish off the boss in this video, just because we've made it this far. And I hate ending a video off at Candies. In hindsight, I probably should have ended after Clam City, but... 
Oh, you guys don't mind the one episode, okay. That took far longer than it should have. And now we're on the third... Actually, yeah, you know what? I've been... This video's been going on for so long, I have to end the video off here. We'll be taking on the boss of the Vine Valley, Bumblebee, after... In the next episode, so... I, I'm, I'm Color Farty, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And tune in next time, when we do exactly what I just said. Man, I'm not organized, am I? Have a great day, and God bless.